Hi, this is Dorothy from TaiChiBozeman.com slash raw food blog. And this is brought to you by FaveDiets.com. I'm making something with flax seeds today. They turned out to be my favorite crackers. And these are flax seeds. I've talked to you about them in the uh, Chia Jam recipe. But just to give you a little bit more information about them, they're really high in... Um, they're really high in omega-3 fatty acids. They're very low carbohydrates. Ideal for people who limit their starches and sugars. And they're high in the B vitamins, especially also magnesium and manganese. So they're a key force against uh, inflammation in your body, like heart disease and arthritis. And um, they tend to balance female hormones, which I was surprised to hear about. So to make my favorite crackers, here's what they look like. And they turn out to be really crispy. I mean, they look like Pringles potato chips. And I've had a hard time finding a raw cracker that was this crispy. So it's fantastic. I think you're going to love it. And it's really easy to do. So you take a cup of chia seeds. And usually you would soak them just 10 minutes, but this special recipe, which came from Grio in her book, Hooked on Raw, you soak for 12 hours in um, two cups of apple juice or pear juice or apple pear juice and three cups of water. So all that just for one cup of seed. And then you also put in her special ingredient is pumpkin pie spice, and I use uh, garam masala the Indian spice which has a lot of the cinnamon and cloves and all that mixed together. And then so you let this soak for 12 hours in the fridge. This is the seeds again with all the juices and a little bit of spice. And then you take dollops of it and put it on your dehydrator sheet which is covered with some kind of um, paper you know so you don't get all the plastic chemicals in there. And then you take dollops like this and you just put them on your sheet like that. Nothing fancy. You don't have to smash it down or anything. And then you take a flower or this is strawberry or a piece of apple and just put it on top. And that's going to dehydrate and make it really sweet on top. Because if you've ever tasted dehydrated strawberries or apples, they're fantastic. So we'll put a couple on here. And you don't have to spread them apart because it's not like cookies in the oven. They don't need a lot of room. And you can make them different shapes if you want to. Put another strawberry, apple, or pear on top or a flower. And then you're going to put this in your dehydrator at 105 degrees. After 12 hours, um, <clears throat> turn the whole sheet over. And then let them fall off and then let the air just crisp them and then do it another 12 or 24 hours until they're as crispy as you like them. So that's how you make uh, chia crisps, they're called. Uh, chia crackers. And then you only need one or two a day because they soak up all the water and you're going to feel really full. Uh, from favediets.com and Dorothy. Enjoy your chia crisps.